Hello out there in YouTube land, welcome to the OK Good Review channel. And today we have another cool crossover. This one is from the Marvel Transformers crossover, of course. This is War Machine. And War Machine has got this. And, and this this toy guys honestly has seen some better days. <laughs> it's definitely a used toy. But you can see it's got got wings you can straighten out and fold. You've got this port where we'll accept this one no, so there's the missiles didn't come with it there's actually red missiles that go in there has some underwing missiles and you can fire them with I presume those, those are the fists there's a way to follow oh, there's little triggers right here okay so but yeah this is I, I like this jet the only thing I don't like is this I think this is funky I don't like the back of this but I think this is cool. Like from the front and from the top, this is a really cool looking little plane. I, I actually kind of like this. So, and of course he turns into War Machine. So to do that, to transform him, first thing we're going to do is to bend that part back. And we're going to fold these flaps over. And then we're going to dig the foots out. Actually, maybe we won't fold the flaps over yet. We have to get the foots out first. Okay, so un un unfold those if you did that. Okay, and get the foots. Come here, foots. Footsy foots. All right, it's a little, little on the stiff side. Okay, so the foots will go like so. And there we go. Okay, all right. There's the foots. And fold the flaps back after you get the foots out. Okay, and we need to do a little rotation. Okay, and then we're going to break this off. Break this off. These are cool. Yes, going to be doing that for the whole video, I'm sure. Okay, so fold these parts out for the uh, cap flaps. And then the, the arms are in here, so what we need to do is we need to push on this thing to to uh, get the hands out. Oh boy, that's stiff. All right, let's see if our let's see if our missile can that wouldn't fit. We'll be able to assist here. Oh, there, anyway, so there's fists in there. That one's not going to come out. Let's try this one. Okay, so there's what we would want, and you can see he's got the. He's got the uh, glowy palms thing going on. Okay, so where were we? Wait, over here. Okay, so from here, we're gonna pull back this nose piece. Uh, you can separate that if you want to. Oh, right, okay, so if you if you fold this out, all right, fine, we'll fold it out. Whatever, whatever. All right, okay, and yep, all right. Okay, so we fold that out, we get this, and like so, and like so. And I will hit you with my glowy palms. So, and I wonder if we can, I'm sure we can fold these up more. Maybe not. Maybe we can't. I don't think we can. Can we bring them? No, see, yeah, no, we can't do that. Okay, so, <laughs> you can either have a gigantic backpack. <laughs> Or you can, they did this on Thor too. They had this sort of just huge backpack thing for his cape. But, all right, so there he is, War Machine. So War Machine and uh, and Iron Man both have a sort of, that, that aspect to them already, right? They're already sort of, the armor sort of looks robotic. So in robot mode, this is not a huge, uh, a huge extension away from what they're already doing. I I don't like this 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 gigantic flappiness here. Oh, you can also take this apart. 
I don't know. This is cool, but I'm not sure what the purpose of this is. Like, why is this even possible? I mean, obviously they meant to do this because you can uh, you can open this up and you can see there is detail in there. But like, what's the point of that? I don't understand. Is it like there's no reason to do this? I mean, it's cool. You can do it. I I appreciate all the cool little detail touches, but I don't I don't understand why it doesn't doesn't make any sense. And I mean, I guess you could see so having missiles here. You can't bring them into firing position or anything. So as a crossover, I think it's like the crossovers. I think were kind of just kind of these cool little unique things. And I think that's kind of what this is too. I do like him in jet mode. I'm not a fan actually though of, of this guy in his uh, robot mode. Let's see if he gets his fist out of there. Man, that's really stuck. I wonder. That's what you run into though with some of these older toys is that like a lot of that stuff where it's just friction slides, like that gets stuck a lot. So, but yeah, I mean, it's, the face sculpt is, is good. This is not like it's anything particularly tricky, but it, it, it's, it's a very accurate rendition of, uh, of War Machine. I have no objections, sirs and madams. No objections. I, I just, I wish you could do something else with this. Like that part... Like, if you could fold it up, maybe make it neater somehow, but it is, it is kind of what it is. All right, so to put him back into his airplane form, we're going to do this first. We're going to take these pieces and fold them out to make our nose cone, and then we're going to put the nose cone back over his head. All right, and then from there, we're going to... I just kind of do all these pieces all at once, these front pieces just so that I, I kind of have them out of the way. All right, and then from there, where did we do that yet? Oh, we already did their backup. Okay, so from there, uh, we're just base. Stay notched in. <laughs> oh, fun. Okay, anyway, so let's do that, I'll do that, have that notched in, and there we have that front part. Now for the foots, the leg section, we're going to take these open them wide and what we need to do is this actually needs to go in here so we need to this one also so they need to come around so they look like this and what is your problem here okay there it is okay so this is what we want this is the final result that we want these will notch together so let us do that you can see there's two peg holes here on the legs can you see those there they are right there Peg hole one, peg hole two, port one, port two. I might have reversed that. And so ideally, so what we do is we are going to take these, make sure you put these down, otherwise you'll have a problem with this. And these are just going to go like so. So ideally, those, those aren't notching in, you can see, so we have to kind of finesse them to get them to cooperate. Sometimes I find it easier, guys, to plug these in initially. Oh, what is this system? Okay, there's one, and let's see if we can get this one. Okay, there's the second one. Once we do that, then we can, then we can notch this together. Maybe that'll. Okay, so that's better. So that might be the that might be the better way. Kind of move this other stuff because this stuff does. You can always notch that once that's in place. It just depends on on how you're how you're. T I mean, the, everything you're gonna find probably of these things now is gonna be used. It just really depends on what condition your version is in. But I, you know, this is I like this better than the Thor one. I think War Machine lends itself to this type of thing a lot better. Uh, I still I I don't like this like this this I I sort of have an issue with because I don't want to see this when I look behind. You know, I should be seeing you should be seeing blasters. Which kind of works with the with the red dots in his hands. Like I'll give him that part. I, I'll no problem. That's not a problem with me. This though, I really wish they would have come up with something to kind of cover this a little bit better. Like like that part I don't really like, but the rest of this, I mean I think this is cool. They don't have a lot of uh of aerial transformers and to me this one's this one's pretty good. I like it. The colors, the color scheme's good. It reminds me, actually, though, 
somewhat of Black Widow's Warcraft, if I'm being honest. Like her her plane thing is this is that's what this kind of reminds me of. Got a little bit of a shield aspect to it. Like vehicle mode, I think is really good. Robot mode, I'm less enthused with it. But vehicle mode, yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty awesome. But there you have it. The Marvel Transformers crossover of War Machine. If you did enjoy our look at this, guys, please give us the old thumbs up. Hit the red subscribe button if you have not done so already. The blue button and comments, if they're available and you care to utilize them, please feel free to do that, whether they're there or not. Please come follow us on our Twitter feed, where updates to the channel are made by myself pretty much as soon as they happen. And also, there is Twitter-exclusive content such as display shots that you can only find there. If you are a Twitter user, we would love to have you. So please come follow us there if you're on Twitter. But yeah, there it is one last time. You know what? I wanted to look at something before we go, though. Because what if you take... I don't understand the point of this. <laughs> it's so baffling to me. <laughs> Why does that open? I'm confused. All right. Well, anyway, one more time for the road. Marvel Transformers Crossover War Machine coming at you. And we'll see you all next time, guys. Bye-bye.